But a little peek wouldn't hurt, yeah? No, please wait! I'll be good! I'll sleep on time! Don't go! Way too early for this thing, man. No longer there, Zachary. Here and there, a miles apart. Calm down. Breathe. Isabella, it's late.
Hey, Zach. Sorry. I, I know it's weird for me to show up at this hour, but you are the closest to my office, and... No, 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 no. It's perfectly fine. I, I'm not really working on anything right now. Do you want to come in? Is it... is it all right? I know you should be sleeping at this hour, but I thought... I'm sorry, I, I just thought... I have no idea why I went here. My feet just moved on their own after I got out of the office, and... Sorry. Hey, 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 don't worry about it. At least you not. Ash just bodges in and crashes on the couch whenever he feels like it. I swear that guy is one fine hairline away from being a criminal. Do you want to drink or eat anything? I haven't restocked my food stash yet, so ingredients may be a bit limited. But I'm sure I can whip something up with what I have here. Just water will do, please. Thanks, Zach. What? No additional food requests? That's new. I'll put something together for you anyway. Hey, feel free to make yourself at home. You ain't exactly a new visitor here. Although my room's not at its most presentable right now. Sorry. New freelance gigs and such. Didn't have time to fix things up here lately. It's okay. I don't mind. Anyway, um, Giggs, can you believe this one client we got? Boss had all my schedule shoot shifted after they caught wind of this couple buying a new property. Man, must be nice to have all the money in the world. The world itself moves for you, huh? You're a guest. Didn't I say you're free to make yourself at home? Here's your water. Careful. What happened? Overtime at work? I... yeah. Boss handed me extra work today. After... after what happened to Rose. Rose? Why do I feel like you've mentioned her before? Sorry, I'm better with remembering faces than names. She's... was... She was my co-worker. That will take some getting used to. I was just talking to her the other day. Was? Did she resign or something? I, I think I'm missing a few details here, Bella. You've never met her. I think I did mention her once, or twice. It doesn't matter. You probably heard her name recently from the news than me. Oh. 
Damn. I, I, I didn't mean to bring that up. No, I... Like I said, it'll take some getting used to, but it'll get better. I hope it will. Things might become a little busier for me, though. She left a lot of things unfinished. And I'm one of the few people in the office who knows how she works. Boss thinks the transition will be easier if I handle it. Ah, that explains it. Well, just don't forget you still need rest. Even the most hard-working people I know don't keep hours as late as this. Hell, the subway stopped running hours ago. Crime rate might be lower here than most places, but that doesn't mean you can walk around freely in the middle of the night. It's just for today. Still a good thing you drop by here first. I'm not just about to let you walk out here alone, especially not in the middle of the night. Who knows what else could happen? I'm not saying you should go right now, but I could accompany you home if you... No! Wait, please! Bella, this ain't just about your co-worker, is it? What is it really about? I'm all ears. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Please, please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone right now. I can't shake it off. Everywhere, it's... Everywhere's not safe, and... Oh, hide, hide, Isabella. Look at me. Look at me. Breathe. Breathe. You're safe here. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Stay in the present. I'm here. No one's gonna hurt you. Do you wanna talk about it? No more. Please. No more. I don't want... I don't want to remember anymore. Kate, okay, no more talking. I won't ask anymore. Can I get you anything? Another glass of water? I think I have a tub of that pistachio ice cream you love so much. Uh, we're gonna have to clean this mess first. Will you be fine on your own for a little while? This better be good.
took you long enough, Z-Man. Ashton, it's six. <sighs> six in the morning. Sun hasn't even risen. Hell, my brain ain't even awake yet. Stop calling me Z-Man. It's 20 past six, Zach. You want to talk? Give me back my five extra minutes, Ash. I want my sleep. Hey, don't make fun of me. I can be a, a more a person, too, if I want to. What's this all really about? You don't usually make calls around this hour. Is the world ending today? <laughs> Sorry about that. Becca rang me up a few minutes ago looking for Isabella. Said she didn't show up in her own apartment last night. We both tried calling, but her phone seems to be off. Do you have any idea where... <laughs> I should have known you two would come looking for her first thing in the morning. Not a laughing matter, Zack. You can't really let your guard down with everything that's happened here recently. You've heard about the Cooper woman from the news. Everyone in the precinct has been restless ever since the incident the other day. Yeah, I get what you mean. Listen, Ash, about... about Bella. I'm not really sure how to go about this while being... Zack, what about her? Look, you don't have to worry about her. She's with me right now. Since last night, in fact. Oh. Why didn't you just say so earlier? She kind of knocked in the middle of the night. I couldn't possibly wake you two over that. And with how things are when she arrived, I thought it'd be best if I let her rest first. I just wasn't expecting people would be looking for her before the rooster even crows. You could have at least called her something. Becca's beside herself with worry when she found out. You know how much she frets about the smallest stuff. I know, I know. I'm sorry. That was a lapse on my part. And I just didn't think, okay, you know what? Rebecca's worries ain't completely baseless. Isabella hasn't been her usual self since the movie. Maybe even before that. I don't know if I should be opening my mouth about this, but... Bella didn't outright say I shouldn't, so... So something's wrong, then? I'm not quite sure, to be completely honest. I couldn't get the story out of her. Really? I thought you'd learned something from me by now. That's not it. Ash, when she appeared at my doorstep last night, she was shaking, and, and when I tried to ask her about it, she just panicked. Had this frightened look on her face. I'd be surprised if this was the first time I've seen it, but... It ain't. Dude, the first time, she was screaming. First time? When was this? You weren't talking about the thing in the movie house, are you? Because that was just us fooling around. Granted, I think I went overboard with the joke, but... No, it happened the day after. When she invited us to lunch, you weren't there. We were walking one second, and then the next... She's crying out. I'll be straight with you. That scared me shitless. Did she say anything else? Nothing. Won't tell me anything aside from a few vague words. I didn't want to push it. Where is she? Is she still sleeping? Right here with me, still sleeping. Should I wake her up or something? Let her know you guys are looking for her? No need. Let her rest. I'll drop by in a few. Today? Don't you have work at this time? I mean, I can drop her off home myself before meeting my client later. Who <laughs> keeps talking? My schedule's flexible, Ash. Last time I checked, you're the one who didn't have that luxury. How on earth do you think I'm able to tag along when you need me? It's not completely out of the way. They live on the other side of the town from you, Ash. Your definition of out of the way is a little screwed up, you know. It's fine. I have some things I need to do anyway. I'll call you back. I've got to let Becca know that Scared Cat's fine. Bye.
Zack? What time is it? Morning, Bella. Did you sleep well? a little. I don't remember how I ended up on the bed, though. My doing. You didn't look very comfortable sleeping on the couch, all hunched up like that. It would have been enough for something temporary. Sorry I stole your bed. Hey, it doesn't matter. Besides, what kind of gentleman would I be if I leave a lady sleeping in such uncomfortable conditions? Not in this house. My nana would give me a tough scolding if I ever did that, I'm telling you. Thanks a lot, Zack. I know I barged in at a very inconvenient time last night. I... I wasn't really thinking when I did, and... Hey, hey, it's cool, Bella. I ain't mad at you. That's what friends do. You guys are welcome here anytime. Although Ash and Abuse is the anytime part a lot. I don't really mind. We might have less wiggle room if all four of us are present, considering the size of this place. But as long as no one makes anything explode, it's totally fine. Fine or not, I still owe you one for last night's trouble, especially since you don't seem to be... seem to be feeling well. Let me know, okay? I'll make it up to you somehow. My bad. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't have seen me with these. What? Oh, is it bad? I was just thinking that maybe it's a cold like Becca's. Do you need me to get anything from the store? Soup or something? There's one nearby, right? I can run real quick and... No, nothing of that sort. I'm perfectly healthy right now. It's really difficult to say, but can you promise me you'll listen at least? What is this about, Zack? I should have been upfront with you about this a long time ago. But Ashton found out without me telling him anything. But you already know how that guy is. Can't hide anything from him. If it's something you're having trouble saying, you don't have to force yourself to tell me. 
I'll forget I ever saw anything and won't ask questions. Promise. No, I need to get this off my chest eventually. Besides, we're already here. Might as well finish what I started, yeah? If you say so. Let's hear it then. Nan and Gran took us right after that. Sis and I flew straight to New Jersey as soon as they heard the news. A few days after, Mom and Pa were laid to rest. And we have a new home a continent away. I didn't even get the chance to take my favorite pillow with me. They said so. Not gonna say anything? Am I supposed to say anything after? Like, apologize or something? I don't think that's very appropriate, but if you want to hear one, I can think of something real quick. Not really. Other people have something to say after, usually. And they're not necessarily nice, either. Oh? Okay, then. I won't. I can't think of something anyway. Sorry. I'm not very good with this. Who else knows, by the way? My older sister, grandparents, and just Ash and you for now. Maybe, maybe I think I should tell Rebecca too, but... But not right now? Yeah, not right now. When I'm ready. Like today. I'm sure she'll be willing to hear you out once you do. I don't doubt she will. I'm more afraid of how she'll react after. One step at a time, yeah? Phew. Surprisingly, it feels good to get that one out of my chest. I was a little afraid you'd be angrier. I didn't tell you earlier than today. I'm not angry. I'm just surprised. You didn't look like it. I wouldn't have suspected. I suppose that's how it often is, isn't it? We all have our... Uh, what's the word Becca uses? Inner demons? But this is something personal to you. I understand why you'd rather have a few people know. That too. Well, these past few weeks haven't been easy for you. I didn't want to add that. Not after last night. You okay? Yep, no worries. I'll... I'll be fine. Look, about last night... Never mind. This isn't a good time. But don't lose sleep over this, alright? What's important is you got what you want to say out. And if you need me, I'll be here. So, uh, food then? Alrighty, Missy. We're going to get some chow now. Better be quick, though. Can't have your stomach starting a revolution on us here. D don't make fun of me. I'm not that hungry. Maybe a little. I didn't think I'd end up skipping dinner last night. 
<laughs> and now we have one starved stomach protesting. Sorry it'll be nothing fancy, since I'm a little low on stocks. Hmm. I should probably drop by the grocery store after the meeting this afternoon. I can make a quick run for you if you want. Nah, I've got enough to put together something nice here. Maybe. I could always improvise if we're missing an ingredient or two. It ain't like we're going for a Michelin three-star status here. Also, didn't I say you're a guest? <laughs> Is this a Filipino thing? Or just Rebecca rubbing off on you? <laughs> On second thought, I might need a little help slicing up the potatoes while I prep the ham. You up for that? What? Do you think instant noodles are all I'm about? I'll have you know, I can cook a mean paella with my eyes closed. All my siblings love it. Sure you can. Come on, I think I know what we'll do with those spare ingredients. Sorry, Bella. Could you... Yep, I got it. The potatoes are almost ready, by the way. I turned down the heat just in case. You might... Hold on! I'll be right there! Sheesh! Wait up! If you keep rapping at the door like that, you'll break it down! Ash! Oh, good. You're awake. Don't you have work today? I could ask the same of you. Hey, a Z-Man. You're late. Something came up? You need to drop the Z-Man. It's getting old. Sorry. I got caught with something at the precinct on the way here. Had to attend to that first before things got out of hand. I'd tell you about it, but you know how it can be with those kinds of things. But and you're here because... What? I'm not allowed to say hello? I doubt you're here because of that. And you're not answering my question. Ah, my bad. My bad. Forgot to mention that. He called earlier looking for you. Rebecca's worried because you didn't come home last night. You could have called my cell instead. You weren't picking up. Anyway, I'd really hate to cut this little get-together short, but I need to be somewhere else. Come on, Isabella, let's get you home. I'll drop you off on the way. Wait, we're going now? What is it? Zack cooked something. If it's just food, I'll get you something on the way back. But the food! It's Zack's cooking! Real delicious food that actually tastes like food. At least stay and have a bite, please. Zack, help me here! I don't know about you two, but I think you guys should really stay. I've already made enough food for all of us, and it'd be a waste. 
Why, I cooked up that special honey glazed ham you two keep on yapping about. Got some scalloped potatoes with onions and cheddar to go with it, too. <laughs> You're in no place to reject an offer of free food, Frey. I wasn't... I wasn't rejecting anything. Damon, I just missed a meal, that's all. Aw, oh, he's flustered. Shut it! Those guys at the precinct said it was urgent. Somebody has to be responsible for it. Well, aren't you precious? Right. You know, if you keep laughing like that, you'll burst. I'm sure it won't be as bad as your stomach suddenly rumbling like a starved... Hi, kiddos. Play nice. Food's gonna get cold if we keep this up. Ash, you gonna stay? Might as well, since Scaredy Cat's so hell-bent on staying. rights? Yeah, they're planning to move in soon. In fact, they already have a housewarming party planned. It's why they wanted us to rush the papers. They wanted to send the invitations out as soon as possible. Oh, now I get it. Get what? Remember what I told you last night about the new clients? Vaguely? Sorry. I was a little out of it yesterday. Was it the photo shoot? Yep. It's actually for the one you sold. Ermin. Ermat. Something. When you put it that way... I suppose it makes sense why my boss wants me to prioritize the couple. They can have those documents rushed at just the snap of their fingers. And they're more influential than I initially thought. Man, I guess my boss is expecting a lot more from this project than I expected. Hope I can live up to it. Your photographs are more than good enough, Zack. You'd probably win an international award if you let yourself. Ma'am Hana's easy to please, too. As long as you're good at following instructions. Easier said than done. Different clients have different tastes, after all. Still, a week? I don't think that's possible. Now that you mentioned it, yeah. They wanted everything finished at the earliest. To be honest, it's not unheard of, but... But it's still fish... weird. Still weird, yeah? I can't exactly say it's like that, where I'm just the middleman after all. As much as I want to comment on it, I only know what's on the surface, not the in and outs. It's just that BRC and my boss are more hands-on with the legal stuff this time, despite having a separate department dedicated to it. Maybe Mr. Wright helped with it too. They have their own legal team for this, don't they? Well, they should have one, especially for a big property like this. They have, but like I said, it's off our hands. Rose and I don't handle this stuff in the office. If anything, to me, this just means I'll be able to send the rest of the funds to Papa's treatment earlier. I guess that makes a whole lot of sense. Officially off our instant noodle diet, aren't we? Ash, has anyone ever told you that you have an uncanny way of ruining the mood? What? I was just saying. A few more months of stuffing your face with those, and I'm sure you'll start to look like a noodle cup. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty picture. At least I don't live off convenience store food. Or make poor unassuming pressure cookers explode. What? How did you... Oh, come on, Zack. So sorry it just came up while we were cooking earlier. I'm impressed, Ashton Frey. You even made it to the news. A one-time thing. And it wasn't as big as you seem to be imagining. Oh, sure. Let's all pretend that one time you almost set my apartment on fire didn't happen, too. Hey, that was an accident. You were making a salad, Ash. 
Can we please move on to a different topic? You go on ahead. I've got a few things I need to ask Zack. I'll be downstairs in a minute. How sure are you I won't be driving away with your Shirley? You don't even have a license. Do you even know how to? Papa taught me how. I'm probably a better driver than you. See you later, Zack. Thanks for the food. <laughs> Always has to have the last word, don't you? You're welcome. I'll send you the recipe for the potatoes tonight. That wasn't very nice, Ash. What was there with Isabella earlier? You're usually subtler with your questions. They hired you. Hired me who? Don't change the subject yet. What's really going on here? The Wrights. Luke and Hannah Wright. You said your next gig is with them. Is that what this is all about? Just be careful around them. You have no idea what you're dealing with when it comes to that couple. I'd rather you stay as far away from them as possible, but you're already here. Isabella's their real estate agent. <sighs> Seriously, of all the people in Luxburn. Okay. I guess I'll just have to take your word for it. You back on those? I haven't seen you taking them in a year. Yeah, I kinda had to. It got worse after the film fest. The dreams, that is. I, I don't think I'll be doing that again anytime soon. I heard about that. Don't drop it, though. You don't want Becca scolding you. She actually enjoyed the movie you made, and she's hard to please. Consider that a small victory. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. She already did. Rebecca and Bella both gave me an earful after I said the opposite. Promised them I wouldn't, but you can never tell. Hopefully, once I feel better, I'll be able to think about it properly. Speaking of Bella, she didn't open up to me, but maybe with you and Rebecca... Yeah, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but I'll talk to her. Thanks. That's all I'm asking. 